everyone, welcome to the War Room. Uh, today on Tabletop Anarchy, I'm joined by Charlie, I'm Jack, and we're going to be unboxing the Japanese hero for Blood Red Skies, Saburo Sakai. Really? Yeah. Well pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't going to be easy. Nearly, nearly. Um, so yeah, again, another one that we're quite looking forward to opening. Yeah, I think hopefully everyone should have seen it. the uh, the Mitsubishi, the Zero um, Squadron unboxing that we've done. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, check down in the, uh, the the comments below. There should be a little link there uh, to take you to the uh, the, the, the Zero unboxing. Uh, but we're really excited. The Aces really add some extra flavour to, not just to the to planes, but to the to the, to faction. the whole game. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. And we've done one unboxing so far, and that changed, that Ace is going to change the game yeah. again. Lovely box, lovely yeah, artwork on the artwork. box. Beautiful artwork. Yeah, I'm gonna, if I can just grab this, because yeah, there's the something really, really fascinating me about this chap, and I can't remember if it's written on the back of the box or the back of his card, uh, but this chap basically took a shot um, through you know, through his, his, his cockpit, and the e bullet caught this helmet, but actually went through his, uh, through his, through his head and out the back, and he flew something like five hours back to. I uh, think it's on the back of his yeah. card. Yeah, I've 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 seen that before. Yeah, back to his camp and just yeah. Crazy. Oh, what a what crazy. a legend. But yeah, go on. I'll let you uh, I'll let you take him out now. But um, just shows the the grit of those uh, those Japanese pilots. Oh, definitely, pilots. definitely. Um, so yeah, as with all of them, we've got the cards. Yeah, the lovely trains. Transfers. Trains, all packed up to together again. Uh, with do you want to go through the cards and all the? Uh, yeah, you can do, or I can do the either or. Whichever, ones. yeah. Yeah, and lovely, you know, lovely, lovely playing. Love the colouring as well. You know, again, if you don't plan on painting these things, that cream <clears throat> sort of really helps represent maybe like the navy uh, versions of the zeros. Um, and you know, typical blood red skies stand, great quality. That fits in there, perfect. Uh, and then you've got yeah, your lovely advantage displaying base, which is great. Yeah, which is it's a great part. It is. Yeah, it really yeah, is. It is. It is. So there's cool. His, um, so, if, for those that didn't see the um, or haven't <coughs> seen the unboxing of the of the zeros yet, just we'll have a little look at their yep. sort of stack cards. So, two firepower. That's what makes it stand out to me. So, is the European planes are all just single fire. Yeah, single fire. Yeah. yeah that, and these Pacific ones have got a lot more sort of punch. There's to a them, lot more kick to them, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, I know it's definitely. only one difference, but that could be the six that you roll. One extra dice. It always makes a difference. It does, it, yeah. It, 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 can, does. it can make the difference. Yeah. Lovely maneuverability. So when you put it up against that um, the, 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 mustangs. the mustangs, you've got a little you've bit of an edge. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Um, seven movement, which is you know seems pretty standard for what we've seen so far from yes, the Red yeah. Skies. Yes. Other than the mustangs. Other than the mustangs. Every, everything else. <laughs> yeah. Seven movement. Yeah. yeah. So. And then tight turn. We we are great cards. We've, we've is, been through that. Yeah. Yeah. Being able to make that movement at any point rather the, than at the end yeah, of your the turn. The games that I've played, that's that's coming real yeah, hard yeah. in the Titan. It doesn't seem like it, but when you actually play, yeah, it's a it's, it's a such great a versatile card. card. Yeah. But they do come with vulnerable, uh, meaning meaning they they are vulnerable. They're going yeah. to take a little bit of extra damage. So anybody that's shooting at them is like plus one firepower. So it does bump everybody up by one firepower against yeah. them, but with that extra manoeuvrability and tight turn allows them to sort of hopefully evade some of those shots coming in, which is uh, which is quite gives nice. them another option. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, which definitely. the Mustangs are slightly lacking with only two manoeuvrability. Yeah, for sure. So. For sure. Uh, and then even then, so we're looking at Saburo himself. Um, so you can only go in the single single engine fighters, which yeah. is yeah, which is good. It's nice. It's the same as the last days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's fair. It's only really I think Galand and. Um, it might only be Galand that can go into a different side. So he go, he can go in the single engine and the jets. Energy, yeah. Um, and then you've got uh, Sailor Milan, I think, may be able to go into dual engine. Planes. Oh, right. So that'll be interesting to see uh, as, as time progresses. Yeah. But his signature trait is, funny enough, plus one plus maneuverability. Plus Yeah, so keeping him away from any damage and yeah. stuff like that, which is going to be quite cool. For maneuverability, that's... Yeah. yeah, that's going to come in quite handy, Definitely. especially if you're against the Mustangs with two. Yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. You know, yeah. taking any shots on the rear and, and, and sort of down his nose, he's got that extra dice then to be able to sort of yeah. out. So he's rolling nine dice to avoid any of those shots coming in, which is pretty good, pretty good. And then his two A skills, these are interesting. So he's got aggressive and comeback king. So I don't think I've seen either of these. Well, there's aggressive. If so you look read aggressive. That one. Yeah, yeah. So on an ace during his activation, so it can only be played on Saburo. The ace can choose both outmaneuver and shoot as a pilot action. This activation. Oh, that's, wow! 
That's handy. Yeah, so that's... you've got you've got two advantage planes. Yeah. You know, you've got your advantage, let's say Mustang, uh, you know, ace, and you've got Saburo comes in. As he gets into position, maybe for a side shot, he can't get on the tail. He can play aggressive, outmaneuver that plane down. to hopefully drop it down, and, and then, then have a shot. Then open fire. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. And he keeps it on a pilot test. So again, Saburo's going to be rolling five dice. On a six, he gets to keep that card. Reuse it again. That's that's cool. I like that's, that. That's, that's a handy Yeah, card, that's yeah. a really cool card. Uh, we've got Comeback King. An ace can fight back even from a bad position. Play in reaction to an enemy shooting at a disadvantaged ace. If the ace critically dodges the shooting attack or disadvantage, he becomes neutral. How cool is that? That's, that's nice. That's, that's different. Really I've not seen handy. anything like that yet. No, and again, pilot so, test to see if you keep it. So if he's disadvantaged, so let's say someone's come on his tail, yep. knocked him down to disadvantage, he can play this, yep, and if he gets that. two sixes on his dodge, it brings, it, it brings him back, him up, back to up to neutral. Fantastic. So meaning if you wanted to, you can burn advantage to get further away, bang on a 180 in the yeah, next turn. turn. Keeps him, yeah, it's going to, again, it's keeping him out of the way, which is, yeah. I suppose, is, really representing the manoeuvrability of those. Uh, yeah, those that's teams. what he wants to do. He wants to keep out of the way of the other planes yeah. and then fly, as you say, fly in and yeah, attack. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Yeah. And then let's have a look. How much is he going to set us back? He is pricey. 140, 140 points. points. That's that's Quite understandable when I think you it couple is, these two cards it is, plus his not, extra manoeuvrability. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad, really. No. I think that's I think that's about right. Yeah. I think yeah, a bit more telling as well as we move like further into you know later war planes. Yeah, single engine planes. If you can pop him in there, it may well you know make him a lot more attractive when you've got those planes that are a bit faster, a bit punchier, yeah. and stuff like that. So. Yeah, cool. Like it. Like yeah. it. And then obviously we've got the standard um, roundels that you pop on your base, your two aces. Love the ace wings. I love the orange wings. Yeah. It's a bit something to make the aces pop. And then you've got your Saburo um, card there with, you know, his. So it tells you it's got plus one manoeuvrability. And always nice and an extra four if you need it. I like how it comes with some extras. Oh, yeah. You know, so you've you got don't the have four to and just, the five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as I was say, if you buy this, if you're playing a high points game, it's two extra fives, even if you don't take of the ace. Of course yeah, yeah. It's nice yeah. to have those, that, that bit of flexibility. I don't know why you wouldn't take the ace, uh, To be fair, for, you know, I know he's 140 points, but what he's bringing to the table it's... is great. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really good. good. It's really good. good. Yeah. Cool, cool. Great, well, if you liked it, like the video. If you really liked it, subscribe if you want to see more. Um, pop down your comments in below about whether, you, you know, whether you're looking forward to playing with the zeros, uh, or if you like it and don't like it, let us know. Uh, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Cheers.